Susan Tra, author of Transition to Life and Daily Living Skills. And today we're going to talk about three ingredient cooking. We're going to make my mother-in-law's famous Graham Babs green beans. Now because my mother-in-law is 95 years old and her teeth don't work very well, these are soft, juicy green beans. If you're looking for crunchy green beans, we'll have another recipe later, but these are that comfort food, feel good in your belly green beans with just three ingredients. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is steam some green beans. Now it doesn't matter if you get frozen or fresh. Um, Grand Babs likes fresh, but right now, there's only frozen in my um, grocery store. So we're doing a great big bag of frozen green beans. Now I'm gonna put them all in this steamer and it's got holes at the bottom of it. And then I'm going to put it over a uh, pan of water. There's about an inch of water in here. And I'm going to turn it on. Yep. And turn it down a little bit here. And then let it steam. And I'm going to steam it for a long time because I want these green beans to be real soft. Um, while they do that, I'm going to cut an onion. Only I don't like to cry and I bet you you don't like to cry. So I'm going to light a candle. The reason that people end up crying when they cut onions is that the onions let a gas out into the air and that gas burns your eyes. If you light a candle next to where you're cutting, then the, the flame from the candle, the heat from the candle, will, will burn that gas before it can come up to your eyes and then it will take care of it so that you, it doesn't hurt. I'm going to start by, I'm going to hold my onion, see how my fingers are back away from it? And my knife is very sharp. You may think that it's better to cut with a, a knife that isn't very sharp so that you don't cut yourself, but the opposite is true. It needs to be very sharp so it cuts into the onion and not into you. Then it won't slip or pull over. Once I've got the ends cut off, I'm going to slice it here and then pull off the outer layer. Now, if you're very good at it, you may just want to pull off the paper layer, but if you're a beginner, go ahead and pull the whole layer off and then your onion will be cut very quickly and you won't have to worry about uh, trying to fight with all the paper lining of an onion. Now you can see that it's cut nice and flat. I'm going to cut it in half again, turn it on its side, and holding my fingers back, I'm going to just make little cuts all the way down. And I'm keeping my fingers away. That's all I'm going to do with this onion because for this recipe we like it kind of big pieces. And one more here on the side and there you go. So now that we've got our beans on and they're cooking and the onion is cut up, we're going to start cooking the onion. I've got a, a big frying pan here on the uh, stove and it's big because eventually I'm going to put all my green beans into this too. So we're going to turn on our fire and we're going to turn it up pretty high and then we're going to put about two tablespoons of oil, I'm using olive oil, into the pan and we're going to put all of our onions into that pan. Once the onions are in, we want to start
browning them, we want them to, to turn a nice golden brown and like the beans, get very soft. So now our onions are nice and brown and, uh, and the beans are very soft. So we're going to pour the beans in with the onions. And mix them all together. Until the beans are coated with the olive oil that's still in the pan and with the onions. I'm going to season them with something called Bragg's Liquid Aminos. It has a little bit of salt in it, a little bit of, of, of almost soy kind of flavoring. And you see I'm putting yeah, quite a little bit in. You can, you can do it according to your taste. Stir it all up. And that's it. Those are Grand Babs green beans. They make a very nice um, side dish for chicken or, or ham or anything else that you want to put together with. And they store very well in the refrigerator for days. Enjoy.